Hey guys and welcome to this little environment walkthrough. Now this is an environment I've been working on uh, for a little while, probably not that long in terms of hours actually working on it, but more so uh, time in terms of the amount of time it's taken me to get to this stage just because of other things going on holiday and trying to chill out a little bit as well after, after the epic academic year. Um, teaching so as you can see I've got kind of a spotlight effect going on there we've got some sounds in there as well so make sure you listen out for those sounds I'll try and keep hush for a little while uh, when I want to show or you know give you the ability to listen to the sounds and not just my voice so you can hear that buzz that's from the light above uh, that does come again uh, as you go around the corner there's a light there as you can just see uh, we've got some uh, tiling on the floor kind of cracked and decayed, uh, very old and worn tatty uh, and I've gone for kind of a, obviously the diffuse which looks quite tatty, I'm going to maybe bring in a bit more darkness around the edges just to blend that in a little bit more with the walls. Um, also been using a specular a little bit just to make the grout between the tiles not so shiny uh, and also a, ref uh, sorry, a roughness map, map um, which allows me to have a little bit of reflection uh, on the uh, tiles as well which looks quite nice it kind of breaks up quite nicely uh, especially using a normal map as well so a normal map is uh, also being used just to it's not a bump map bump maps don't necessarily work um, in Unreal Engine 4 um, so I've had to be use ha had to use a normal map one thing about normals is that um, if you're using X normal, you have to flip the Y axis, I believe. It's the green channel. Um, I think it's the Y axis from plus Y to minus Y, and it should fix any normal mapping issues you have in Unreal Editor uh, or Unreal Engine 4. Now let's move on. We've got light shining through the wall. I've got a couple of shadowing issues here which I need to fix. Maybe just up the resolution a little bit um, there, or at least fix that. Uh, we've got windows here which are quite large. Um, they have placeholders at the moment, you know not really modeled or completed by any means uh, probably gonna have some sort of frosted uh, glass on there as well and fix up the outside so it actually looks like there's a building out there and not just a hovering kind of upper hallway um, we're gonna keep going you can see there's a banister there a bit of a wall support here as well a tiny bit of light bleed issue going on there but I need to fix that just um, by adjusting the kind of directional environment light which should be doable fine um, we've got upstairs a spotlight kind of casting light and kind of silhouetting the banister which I thought it looked quite cool um, also just kind of blended away um, into the background We've got kind of darkened corners which kind of adds to this environment again the sounds uh, we've got a uh, normal mapping on the walls and the ceilings too you can't really see the ceiling one too well because of the light being only directional um, well it's a spotlight so it's only facing down and sideways um, I might put some point lights in here somewhere or some different lights, maybe a knocked over kind of lamp or something like that just to kind of illuminate from different angles this, this space um, or in any one of these spaces. I quite like the fact that uh, we're going into a darkened hallway all the way down the bottom that I'm kind of going for quite an eerie odd look. Again, the sounds, um, I quite like the way this looks with the light at the end of the uh, hallway. Love the spotlights. Just to kind of give that curved light on the floor and on the walls looks really, really nice. Now I'm going for a modular uh, approach here. As you can see, this is very similar. I might change it up a little bit, actually. Um, and if you look up here, it's exactly the same thing. But like before we don't have uh, the spotlight so it kind of like I said it's difficult to see unless you get really close and then you can kind of see that just there but it's quite eerie you can't really see up there you can't really see what's up there uh, you can't tell if there's you know somebody or where the sound originates from you know there could be something there you never know um, but you can see you know it's just a demo really it's just me sort of playing around with some things and making sure um, that I'm just sort of testing myself so give me feedback that's what I want I want you to tell me what you think and any anything that could add to this environment I'm not really sure um, what it is yet it's kind of a backwards way of working and I don't recommend doing it but I have because of I just knew I had a vision of what I wanted this little space to look like and actually so far it's kind of getting there quite happy with that but um, I would like you to tell me what you think this space space could be I'm thinking like a mental asylum just because of the tall ceilings here and I don't know just got that feeling um, 
maybe put some bars outside the windows and things like that. Um, it could be a home, I guess, like a really big mansion. I'm um, thinking of putting some rooms on the left here and on the right, so that's going to obviously give some more interesting spaces and not just a hallway, um, and have some more sounds in there, of course, as well. But yeah, let me know what you think this environment should be. You know, what should it be? Home, mental asylum, uh, a library, a entrance, I don't know. It could be anything. So uh, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. And if you do like it, then please do make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you all next time.